we're here at VMworld 2018 in Las Vegas, and we're visiting the Pivot 3 booth. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at VMworld? Sure, Brian. Uh, Pivot3 is a leading provider of hyper-converged infrastructure. Hyper-converged infrastructure, for those of you who know, is the collapsing of compute, storage, networking, and virtualization into a simple to deploy appliance model so you can take and run virtualized workloads and shared storage on a common, easy to deploy, agile infrastructure. And so how do you fit into uh, the VMware ecosystem and what problems do you solve? Yeah, uh, Pivot3 is uh, uh, a, a close partner with VMware in a couple of different uh, facets. Uh, we're actually an OEM partner of VMware's because our hyper-converged infrastructure is based upon the ESXi hypervisor. Right. So you can take and run the full suite of VMware applications on a Pivot3 hyper-converged system. And we're also a VMware Advanced Technology Alliance partner, and we work with VMware on a number of development programs. Uh, for example, uh, Horizon, uh, we take and have a validated reference architecture uh, with VMware Horizon. Uh, virtual desktops is a great use case for Pivot3 hyper-converged uh, infrastructure. Uh, and we also uh, support a number of the different VMware integration programs uh, like SRM uh, for disaster recovery, uh, pluggable storage adapter for, uh, for multi-pathing, and we manage our hyper-converged infrastructure through a vCenter uh, plugin, so we have full integration with the vCenter management suite uh, as well. And here in the booth, uh, we've actually got three different demos uh, set up, Ryan. Uh, we have a, a demo set up around our hybrid cloud solutions. So uh, we're showing how you can take and use Pivot3 hyper-converged infrastructure on-premise to provide a, a high-performance, scalable, resilient infrastructure on-prem, but be able to take and replicate data to the cloud for backup purposes or migrate workloads automatically uh, into the cloud. Uh, as well as use the cloud for your uh, DR infrastructure, and that's both to AWS, uh, Azure, and Google Cloud. So that's one demo pod that we've got here in the booth. Another demo pod is showing how you can run uh, enterprise application workloads on Pivot3 Hyperconverge. Because we do provide the uh, performance, the resilience, the scalability to run enterprise applications, and because of our advanced uh, quality of service engine, be able to take and ensure that those mission critical application workloads that you're running on hyperconverge get the guaranteed performance that they need to meet their SLAs. So the second demo pod's all about running enterprise applications, and the third one uh, is around uh, VDI. I mentioned that uh, we're a partner with VMware uh, Horizon, and so we have one of our demo pods here that's showing how you can take and run Horizon on Pivot3 hyperconverged infrastructure and take and allocate uh, different service levels uh, to different uh, priority uh, users uh, that you have from a virtual desktop infrastructure standpoint. So kind of a multitude of things we're showing here at VMworld, you know, showcasing different use cases where you can deploy Pivot3 hyperconverged infrastructure. Great, and would it be possible for us to take a look at one of those demos? You bet, Brian. Let's, uh, let's head down to the Enterprise uh, Applications uh, demo and we'll show you how uh, Pivot3's uh, advanced quality of service can be a benefit to ensuring that those mission critical enterprise apps uh, get the guaranteed the performance that they need. Great, so what are you going to show us? I'm going to show you our uh, Acuity quality of service engine and the capabilities and features that we have in our hyper-converged infrastructure product. We have five policies that are built into the product, policies one through five. The first policy is mission critical, the next two are business critical, and the next two are non-critical. And you can configure your workloads on the system at any one of these policies. Right now, this particular demo system has eight volumes of policy one, four at policy five, and the target latencies and IOPS and throughputs on each of those policies are on this particular screen. So policy one would have a latency target of one millisecond, 125,000 IOPS and one gigabit of throughput. 
what does this mean for your workloads? I actually have a VM that's running two volumes, and each of those volumes is at a different policy. One is a policy five, which is now running at about 1.6 milliseconds of latency, and the other volume in that same VM is at 0.6. And you can change the performance in the system in real time through this step. You'll click on and change the policy from non-critical to mission critical. And when that confirms, you'll be able to switch the other volume from mission critical down to non-critical. Similar sequence of steps, very quickly in real time. And if you're an IT maintenance or admin and you're, you know, if the helpline is calling regularly because of performance, you can change the performance within your VMs. Oh, that's great. Within the, within our system. And now when we go back and observe what happens here in a second, you'll see that now this volume that was running at 1.6 milliseconds is now dropped down to 0.6 milliseconds of latency, which is much better. And of course, the other volume, which we also changed from mission critical down to non-critical, is now running uh, 1.5 milliseconds of latency. And where can people go if they want to find out more information or get a demo of the product? C come to the booth. We're here at VMworld. We'd love to see you in the booth, and I'd like to talk to you personally. And uh, do you have a, a trial license or anything that's available for people? We can arrange for people to test the product. We have test labs in our center of excellence where people can schedule time to play with the products. Excellent. Okay. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog. Thank you.